This little boy can figure out lottery winning numbers. Turned around and gave it to a stranger. As a result, the lottery won the 200 billion jackpot the next day. The father, who worked three jobs a day, was not angry when he found out about this. But also comforted his son by saying that the family management is not short of this money. But soon the father was shocked by a magical ability of his son. The boy named Jacob. He has autism and hasn't spoken a word to his father in 10 years. The only thing he likes to do is to climb up the 1000 meter high electric tower alone and study quietly. But every time it causes firefighters and his father to worry. This time, the father even took out a mobile phone to coax his son down. Firefighters are puzzled. This is the third time Jacob has climbed the tower. He seems to have planned. Every time at 3.18 p.m., the alarm will be triggered on time to come to the gas station. The son was recording frantically in the back of the school bus. The father turned around and saw that the school bus number plate was also 318. He didn't care at first. But when he brought his son to the convenience store, he met an uncle with 318 tattooed on his hand who was buying lottery tickets. Jacob took the lottery ticket without hesitation and locked himself in the car. He started to write down something in his notebook. He didn't return the lottery ticket to the uncle until he finished writing. 318. What is it related? Why is Jacob so obsessed? But the weirder thing is yet to come. When he got home, his son put the phone in a circle. And the phone rings at the same time. The amazing thing is that all calls are from the same number. What exactly happened until the next day? The father accidentally saw the lottery winning number in the newspaper and found that the number was exactly the same as the one on his son's notebook. The father suddenly realized the son seems to have the ability to predict the future. He seems to have long known that the uncle with the 318 tattoo will win the lottery, so he deliberately recorded the lottery number. So what happens to the 318 school bus before the father Martin could find out the truth? Clee from the orphanage came to the house. She wants to assess the father Martin's income. If the requirements are not met, the son Jacob will be taken to the welfare home. Of course Martin can't leave his son. He was excited to show Clee the results of the lottery, saying his son had the ability to predict the future. As long as he buys lottery tickets as instructed by his son, he will become a billionaire. Watching Martin say some inexplicable words, Clee felt that he was not suitable for continuing to take care of the child. So Jacob was forcibly taken to the orphanage. Soon, however, Clee discovered something was wrong with Jacob. The school bus with the license plate number 318 is also about to have an accident. Jacob has the ability to predict the future. Lottery winning numbers can be easily guessed. Clee in front of him doesn't believe it at all. She didn't expect to believe it soon. He arranges the leftover popcorn in order. Clee counts. Isn't that exactly her mother's phone number? The next second, her mother's phone calls. Clee's face is in disbelief. Her mother passed away 20 years ago. So who is this person on the phone? Then Jacob picked up the pen and marked March 18 on the calendar. It's 318 again. What is Jacob predicting? Is something going to happen today? On the other side, Martin found a house number next to his wife's cemetery. The number above turned out to be 318 again. The father thinks his son must be telling him something. So Martin searched for the house address on the internet. The above shows that this is an organization called the Society of Prophets. But when he came to the place, he found that there were only dilapidated houses. When he was disappointed and wanted to turn around and leave. It keeps climbing the cell tower. Coming in or not? Martin is confused. The old man seems to have known he was coming. And he said the condition of his son at once. Also said that Jacob never said a word in 10 years. It's not that he can't speak, it's that he doesn't want to speak at all. Mr. Ball, your son sees everything. The past, the present, the future. He sees how it's all connected. You're telling me my son can predict the future. Now, I'm telling you, it's a roadmap. And your job now, your purpose, is to follow it for him. It's your fate, Mr. Baum. To find out the truth. Martin secretly opens his son's treasured notebook, deduce a mysterious phone number based on clues, also locates the address of the number, and then Klee knocked on the door. She also believed in Jacob's ability to predict the future, and today is March 18th. The truth will be revealed today. At 318 there must be a key clue. They quickly came to the address of the phone number, found out that this number turned out to be a phone booth on the train station. 
He thinks his son is making him wait there for the call. It's almost 3.18. But a man keeps calling. In desperation, the anxious Martin pulled the man away. Isn't this the lottery uncle at the convenience store? The two scuffled together. The two sides fought at each other until the police appeared. Martin was taken to the police station. The lottery uncle also delayed the train. The father turned off the alarm clock at 3.18 at night. He thinks he's a fool. How can he believe this nonsense superpower? He is also laughing at his own stupidity. But then the phone suddenly played a voice message. Unexpectedly, this message is exactly the number that Uncle Lottery called in the subway. Uncle Lottery used to be a firefighter. There was a serious blunder in the rescue of Martin's wife a few years ago. So he is very guilty. So he's been buying the same number of lottery for 10 years. After learning that he won the lottery, he didn't leave a penny for himself. All donated to charity. He just wants to make up for his guilt. At this time, the figure of the lottery uncle appeared on the TV. He also saw the school bus with the license plate number 318. It turned out that the lottery uncle accidentally encountered a runaway school bus after missing the train. He saved everyone on the school bus. Martin suddenly realized it's all done under the guidance of Jacob. He hurried to find his son. The son wrote another number on his hand. 